Hello students, in this video we will discuss our second lab program Rotating Triangle about Origin and Fixed Point So we will start with our main So here this program is about to rotate a triangle to the fixed point specified by the user and through the origin So I should read the fixed point from the user Again, this program is also 2D program. So, this fixed point will have only X and Y axis. And uh, I have to initialize my uh, display mode. Either I can use a single buffer or double buffer. And my color system is RGB color system. And you can initialize your window size. Uh, first parameter is width and height. You can initialize your window position. Create a window and you can name the window. You can specify the title of the window and you can initialize. So, coming to init function, um, as we all know, this GL clear color is to set the background color. And first three function is RGB. Here, RGB parameters are 0, 0. So, your background will be set to black. And fourth parameter is alpha. Alpha parameter is 1 for opaque window if it is 0 it is a transparent window and here this is GL matrix mode and you have to specify your identity matrix also and this blue ortho 2D is the viewing function of a 2D object so it has four parameters x min, x max, y min, y max and you can specify your uh, model view matrix also uh, coming to GLUT display function, you know this is the callback function for my display. So here it is my display. In display, first I have to clear the buffers. So in GLUT init display mode, if you are using two buffers, both the buffers has to be cleared. If not, the single buffer, default buffer is color buffer. Color buffer should be cleared. And you will be specifying the on GL color 3F that is draw picture color. So here I am um, drawing a triangle so I specify the uh, color for my triangle. Right. So here actually in this program at this point this GL color 3F I am specifying RGB parameters are 1 1. So 1 1 1 indicates it is white color that is I am fixing my um, origin. So, origin point I am making as white. Origin point I am making as white and you will be drawing that point in white color. This is what I am doing here in my display function. Next is, um, here we are supposed to do two actions. First, I have to rotate my triangle through the origin and through the uh, custom coordinate also. So, I will be creating a menu. So, first you can use your um, callback function for menu that is GLUT create menu. This is a callback function for your menu and you can attach all the menus to this callback function. So, the first menu entry will be origin or, or rotate around origin and it has an ID of 1. Second menu entry is rotate around fixed point and the ID is 2. Third is stop rotation, corresponding ID is 3. And all this um, menu entries should be attached to any one of the mouse button. Here I am attaching these three menu entries to my right mouse button. Uh, now we can see this uh, menu callback function. A menu callback function in option. This option is nothing but the identifier for each menu entry. So if option equal to equal to 1, so here you can see this ID is either 1, 2 or 3. So if your identifier is 1, you are supposed to rotate around origin. So where to rotate is a function. You go to that function, where to rotate. You are supposed to rotate around origin. How do, you, how do I know that I am rotating around origin? You are not doing any translation. Translation is a, a transformation function and it is nothing but displacement. I am not doing any displacement. 
origin is 0, 0, just I'll be rotating my triangle. So here, um, when it comes to rotating a triangle, I'll be tilting my triangle um, for 1 degree and I'll be drawing, rendering my triangle in that position. Similarly, in the next step, I'll be tilting to 1 more degree, I'll be rendering my triangle in that position. Um, position. So this action will be done very fast and I will have a feel like my triangle is rotating. That's how rotate is happening here. So there is no displacement. Here you can see along x or y axis there is no displacement. So this um, so, uh, so this is rotation about origin. And the next is in my uh, rotate callback function the next, if option is equal to equal to 2, I should be rotate along custom coordinates. Right, so in main, we have read this fixed point. Along this fixed point, I have to rotate it. So, to this x and y location, first I have to make a displacement. I have to move to this location, then I have to do the rotation. So, first I have to um, do translation function. So, we can see here where to rotate equal to equal to 2. So translate uh, to this corresponding x and y. Then you perform this um, rotate. Right. So when you move to this x and y location given by the user, you mark that point in a different color. So origin I have marked as white in color. So this uh, I am marking as blue, blue dot. So why it is blue R G B. Only this blue parameter is set to 1. So I am marking in blue dot. You draw that um, pixel in blue color. Right? Call draw pixel function and draw it in blue color. Next is um, actually here when I want to rotate about custom coordinates, you have to move to this uh, um, x and y location specified by the user perform the rotation and then once this rotation is over you have to move back to your original origin position right so this is translation along positive direction you are moving to the specified x and y perform the rotation and then move back to this original position so this is negative translation right so what to rotate you are rotating a triangle so you will be calling your triangle function so here is your triangle function. In this triangle function, uh, here you are specifying the color of your triangle. Right, GL color 3 of always used to specify the color of your object. Right, so here only red parameter is set to 1. So the triangle color is red and GL begin. Um, your primitive is, you are going to draw a um, triangle so i'll be using the primitive as polygon you know polygon means interior also will be filled interior will be filled so now i am filling my interior with red in color right so my primitive is gl begin this gl block should gl begin block should be closed with gl end and in between this gl begin and gl end i have to specify all the vertex you know triangle has three vertex Right, uh, uh, two horizontal and one top vertex, three vertex it will be having. So this is my uh, first vertex x and y. Second vertex is this one, that is you are just making a displacement along x axis, you are plotting the next point. So y remains the same, y remains the same, no displacement for y, just x you are displacing along um, x axis x-axis plus 300 and you are plotting the next point and the third one is uh, you are just plotting the top uh, middle vertex right uh, so along to this x you are make, making a displacement of 400 and to this y you are making the displacement of 300 and you are plotting the top point for your triangle you know triangle it needs three uh, vertex right uh, so you can draw your triangle so where are we? We are here. Then glut post redisplay and glut swap buffers. These two we have because we are rotating a triangle. As I, as I told, uh, 
rotation is will be tilting my triangle by 1 degree you have to draw the triangle in that uh, slanting position and you have to render it then again one more degree render your triangle in that position again in the next step tilt one more degree render your triangle in that position this is how you are rotate so this action will be done very fast right so you will have a feel like your triangle is rotating so here for this swap buffers when you use double buffers so here in main you can check here you are using double buffer so one you will be having this uh, front buffer and back buffer front buffer is for um, displaying your object and back buffer is for rendering the object so first you draw your triangle uh, swap to front buffer so triangle will be displayed at the when the triangle in that position is getting displayed at the same time back buffer will tilt the triangle for another one degree and it will do the rendering process so two buffers front buffer will be displaying and back buffer will be rendering the triangle in the next uh, position so immediately this object what is rendered in the back buffer will be swapped to the front buffer and it will be displayed and in back buffer what is happening um, again the triangle will be tilted to one more degree and it will be drawn so this is what is happening so i need swap buffers so rendering in back buffer swapping it to front buffer for display so i need this swap buffers so every time i have to display my um, object whatever object is there in my front buffer it has to be displayed so i need a black post redisplay also so this uh, use of this black post redisplay and swap buffers is this right so when we use a double buffer we need to have this uh, glut post redisplay and glut swap buffers. Hope I am clear. So where are we? So we have completed this uh, um, where to rotate function also. Right. So the third uh, menu is to stop rotating. So this is all about your menu. And you have your glut main loop up, right up, to run for ever. So this is about triangle rotation, about the origin and about the fixed point. Hope we have completed all the functions. Your main function we have discussed in it. And rotate menu is the callback function for your menu. And uh, these are your where to functions, triangle, display and your drop itself. So thank you.